Now here we go. What's this? Yeah, if it were in the bone, it would be called an enchondroma. But I don't see any bone here, right? It looks like a yeah, circumscribed nodule that popped out of the soft tissue somewhere, right? And I'll tell you right now, it was probably in the fingers, toes, hands, feet. So a soft tissue nodule in that, those sites composed of kind of cellular, funny-looking cartilage. But then what do we call that? It's just a slightly different name. We call it a chondrome. So enchondroma if it's in bone, chondroma of soft parts or of soft tissue if it's in soft tissue. Okay. Some people also call them extraskeletal chondromas, although I kind of don't like using that word because because there's other things that are extraskeletal that are bad things, right? So I sometimes if words are technically correct but might sound kind of scary, I, I tend to avoid them and, and, and go away from them. So I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong to do that. But yeah, this is a tumor that is a true cartilage neoplasm. And what's interesting is that... Um, both in the soft tissue and in the bones on the hands and feet, um, cartilage tumors can look pretty bizarre and weird. They can be cellular, they can have some atypia, um, uh, but usually, if in doubt, a cartilage tumor on the hands and feet is benign, 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 unless proven otherwise. I have seen chondrosarcomas of the hands and feet, but only rarely. And the only way that I, I really, to definitively make that diagnosis, I want them to radiologically tell me, this is a tumor that is blowing out of the of the carpal or metacarpal bone or, or tarsal bone and destroying the bone and invading soft tissue, then, okay, now let's talk about being chondrosarcoma in the hands and feet. But otherwise, it's exceptionally rare site to have chondrosarcomas, which usually occur in the long bones, not in the bones of the hands and feet. And again, like I told you, soft tissue, um, uh, true chondrosarcomas of soft tissue only, not with no bone involvement, are exceptionally rare. Like I said, I've seen like one or two, very, very rare. So this is just an example of chondroma of soft part or soft tissue chondroma. Sometimes we say soft parts in tumor names. Kind of, I feel it's a little bit old timey uh, to mean soft tissue. And you can get some little clustering of chondrocytes or have single ones. But the chondrocytes can be kind of uh, more cellular and uh, sometimes more enlarged. And I have occasionally, there are occasional cases of this where the chondromas of soft tissue can get osseous metaplasia and can have bone formation or, or really prominent calcifications in them. And it can be hard to tell that they're actually a cartilage tumor predominantly that can happen sometimes and also I have seen rare cases where they had like kind of scattered pleomorphic cells and that's been described that you could have kind of symplastic uh, degenerative atypia in these it get, makes me a little nervous um, unless I've seen that the whole thing is out but um, of the cases I've seen to my knowledge uh, there was no bad behavior from them and it is a described uh, phenomenon so so again um, if in doubt don't call something chondrosarcoma in the hands and feet unless you have definitive evidence of it or you get an expert consult. That's my advice, because your chances of being wrong and having a big problematic situation is very high. And the other, oh, the one other thing I would say to think about when you see something that looks like a chondroma, what if you looked like this and you saw like some islands and nests of, of epithelioid cells, or maybe some tubules or, or actual gland formation in a background like this, what would that be? Anyone? Have you ever seen a lesion that looked like this and also had glands and tubes, tubules and, and ducts in it? Like maybe in the parotid? So mixed tumors can do that, both mixed tumors in the salivary glands, but also mixed tumors in soft tissue or chondroid syringomas. I mean, in the skin, we call them chondroid syringoma or mixed tumor. They can occasionally occur deeper down in soft tissue too. They are on a spectrum with myoepithelioma and they can be very, very chondroid in the background, but then they'll have usually some epithelial elements in addition to the chondroid um, component. So that's another thing. If you see cartilage looking stuff and then you see glands, that's probably what you're dealing with. Oh, and no, oh, so I am going to dodge that question. So the question is, um, the size matter for enchondromas in like in long bones versus low grade chondrosarcoma? That is such a complicated and vexing question because uh, in the long bones, enchondroma and grade one chondrosarcoma can look very, very similar, essentially identical. And um, the best feature to differentiate them is infiltrative growth between um, bone trabeculae. And the problem is that, um, you know, usually we get curatage fragments. And so we can't see if there's infiltrative growth. And the WHO, the new WHO has some a change in terminology for low-grade cartilage lesions, depending on where it's located. And size does play some role 
but I still feel this is an area that is is difficult and controversial. And I do have a video on my channel about enchondroma versus grade one chondrosarcoma by Andrew Rosenberg, who's an excellent bone pathologist. And he talks about some of his thoughts on that difference, um, which was a bit different than I was trained. So I learned a lot by sitting with him and having him teach that video. So you might check that out because I feel like they're smarter minds than me will have to explain it because I've been struggling with this ever since I was a fellow. And I still do not have a, a reliable, happy, um, a happy way to deal with this that makes everyone glad. So I still usually say it's a low grade cartilage lesion. And then I give some hedging in the comment about based on the radiology and this, I think it's benign or, or I'm worried it could be grade one chondrosarcoma. Um, in the soft tissue or in the hands and feet bones, the totally different story. But in the long bones, very challenging and frustrating problem. And every time I see a, a, a slide with a bunch of cartilage on it, I'm like, oh man, because I know it's going to be that same issue. So